Welcome back to the Endless Game. In the last episode, we, uh, we found out the real game. It's not about winning and losing. It's about beating the game or ending in a tie. And that's the game that Lamb Delta and Birkenstow are playing. We're just pawns. From the very beginning, we've been pawns. Pawns to Beatrice, or sorry, Birkenstow, and pawns to Lamb Delta. I forgot which one has the brown hair. <laughs> nice segue, by the way. I think it's, uh... Wait, what the fuck am I saying? That's great! Gosh damn, it's just only been in the whole fucking chapter so far. I'm sorry, Greed, I completely forgot about you because a certain little witch was all around. By the way, uh... I, uh, I saw something because of the comments of one of the videos. Um... Someone linked me to, I believe it was the manga for Human Echo When They Cry. There was another picture. The whole Santa thing that was going on. In the manga, Santa is coming into Rika's room, not Birkenstell's room. And Hanyu's just in the background. Hanyu's like surprised that Santa Claus came. Which I find to be cute. If I remember to pull up the uh, image right here, then, you know, I will. But if not, you know, it's there on the internet for ya. So the question is, did we actually take the offer? Because, if we took the offer, then I need to play opposite of Angie. I need to root for the person that Angie is not helping. So if she helps Bottler, I need to root for Beatrice, because I want the game to end too. The problem is, is that I want my cake and I want to eat it too. I want Bottler to win, but I also fucking want the game to end. So the best case scenario for me is to root for Bottler when he's winning, and hope to Gosh, that Lamp Delta and Angie don't screw me over. If I want, if I want to have a quote unquote good ending, I have to put all my faith in Bottler. Oh fuck me. Well, <sighs> looks like we're gonna be here for a very long time, so uh, better get comfortable because uh. Our saving grace is Bottler. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Maybe they're ignoring you because, uh, you were never there to begin with as I bump my mic. <laughs> Incredible outfits. Incredible outfits. The fact that they don't have pants, you mean? Uh, I love their outfits. It reminds me a lot of Angel Morts, but... It's like a professional version of Angel Mart. I I don't want to say this because it's gonna come off as being like very lewd, but it's like the back room sisters of Angel Mort. Okay, we're we're done with that. We are done with that. Fantasies aside.
Wow. <laughs> okay, so the intelligent girls are being mean to her by showing her and saying, You are this stupid. I can prove with math that if you are unstupid, we will all benefit. Here's my charts. It's like, what? Oh my gosh. You know what? By that point, I don't think I would be mad. I think I'd be more impressed. You are mathematically stupid, and I can prove it. Let me pull out my charts. Gosh, damn. That's the nerdy version of bullying. Holy shit. I'm still recovering from what Lamb Delta said. Because I've had my theories all along that Birkenstell was not to be trusted. And I'm right. She is only allying herself with whoever is winning. Which actually begs the fucking question. Why did she not ally herself with Beatrice in Chapter 2? I mean, she was there at the go party, yeah, but... I mean... Why would she not ally herself in Chapter 2? Did she just not realize that what was going on at the time? No. Birkenstow is, like... Birkenstow is smarter than that. Uh... Yeah, they did. I don't remember which ones killed which. It's been many episodes. And many chapters. Hell, I didn't even know which ones were attacking which in chapter 1. But in chapter 2, fuck me, I don't... I don't remember which ones were killing people in chapter 2. I remember in chapter 3... Ah, uh, was it say No, 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 no. It was greed? No, no, no. It was envy and pride that were attacking Butler's parents. I know that. It was Lucifer and, um... Hold on. Don't worry about this. I know it's not Muhammad or Maha Mama. Jeez. Yeah, let me just put out the most common name in the entire fucking world. I'm actually really surprised about that, though. I never knew that until recently that Muhammad was actually the most common name in all of the world. It's not going to tell me which one. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, there's multiple different worlds. No. This chapter doesn't have that. Okay, so never mind. I... I know the white-haired girl's wrath, and I know Lucifer, because she appeared the most in Chapter 2, and mostly Chapter 3, and I know Greed because she's been getting a lot of character develop- yeah, that's great. She's been getting a lot of character development recently. And I know Gluttony because, well, Gluttony's my favorite character out of all of them. But I don't know Envy, Lust, Pride, Wrath, Let's see, Pride, Wrath, Gluttony, Wrath. Four. There's three left. Sloth. I don't know. Envy, Sloth, and Wrath. I'm sorry. Envy, Sloth, and Lust. You're one of them. You're either Envy. Were you the one who was attacking Butler or uh, Angie's mom?
Gosh damn, which one was fucking... Which one was Envy? Oh my gosh, it's kind of hard to remember. I mean, if all else really fails, I could always just, you know, load the game. See, I think it was right here. Is that either right there or like later? Doesn't matter. Oh great, you two are here. Lovely. Which one was greed, lust, and sloth? I mean, I, I guess if I listened to their dialogue, I would be able to deduce. But that's only when they're exaggerating themselves. I forgot that they were going to do this. Yeah, that was your first mistake. Yeah, see, it's very plainly obvious which one is Wrath. Because Wrath is always, always angry, and she always yells. Would she say older sisters? I forget the order. I know Lucifer's the oldest one, but I don't remember who's second oldest. No, no, no. Wrath couldn't be the oldest, because they were able to summon, I think, five of them? But they weren't able to summon, like, two of them earlier. And they went from youngest to oldest. Gosh damn, this is bothering me! This is really bothering me! Wait, is she using the Sin Girls to cheat? So, actually, this brings me back to Maria. Judging from who Maria is, she's very pro-Beatrice, which means, under certain... circuit... the fuck? Under certain circumstances, i.e. when Butler's losing, if I am trying to get out of this game, I should be rooting for Beatrice. And by extension, that means when Bottler's losing, Maria should be my ally. But I don't want Bottler to lose. Oh, definitely with English. I mean, let's be honest, we have a lot of weird fucking vowels. That's... That's the thing about English. If you were born here in the States, or in Britain, or any other place that speaks English, you've pretty much learned one of the hardest languages to learn growing up. And I'll tell you how. The thing is that vowels don't change depending on where they are unless you speak English. French, it has certain vowels, but it doesn't have vowels that overseed each other. Like, depending on how a word is spelled, uh, you'll have a diff- there's different ways to pronounce things. That's the thing with English. The only reason why Japanese is hard, or actually any Asian language is hard, is because it doesn't use the Roman lettering system. Like, with French, yeah, it's hard to learn, but when you look at the words, they look like actual words. 
Asian languages, though, they use symbols instead of words, which makes them a little bit harder to deduce what they mean. First year of elementary school in Japanese language, that there was a problem when Maria was given a picture of a gun in four squares and was told to write the name in four squares. Got punished for writing rifle. Yeah, technically, in Japanese, that's fits. Oh, the Japanese were for- Okay, that's fucking bullshit, though! So she used hiragana instead of- or No, she used katakana instead of hiragana, and she got punished? What the fuck? Okay, this- This is why I'm a little bit annoyed with the Japanese language sometimes, okay? There are li there's literally four fucking languages in there. There's Chinese kanji, there's Japanese hiragana, there's Japanese katakana, and then there's English romanji. Like, when you add all four of those together, holy fucking shit! Okay, alright, this actually reminds me of something that happened when I was a kid, alright? I can relate to Maria here. The first time that I was given a multiplication test, I needed an example. Alright, this is back in like third or some grade. The example, I shit you not, was, okay Nate, 2 times 2 equals 4. You know what else equals 4 that involves 2? Two plus two. So I got the entire test wrong because someone gave me the example of two times fucking two. And it was like, oh, it's four. Oh, okay, I guess it's another way to add. So the entire test, the entire multiplication test, I fucking added. Then I got in trouble. I lost the test. And I didn't know why. So fuck it. Fucking bullshit schools and their fucking. Ah! Fucking languages, am I right? I just got a comment. I just got a comment on one of my videos. It just popped up on my computer. It's from a uh, Catter003. All right, this is happening on the first of August at 8:30. He writes. What is magic? You know what? I've been asking that damn fucking question too. It's in quotes, so I think he's quoting me. Yeah, but no, school? School? Oh my gosh. Sometimes... Sometimes, I don't even know about school. I, I encourage people to go out and get an education, don't get me wrong. But it, it really is something when here in the States, you can sacrifice about three to four years of your life going to college and getting a degree for that degree to not matter because you need a higher degree. So you basically wasted four years of college unless you're trying to go on to get a bachelor's degree. And even then, once you get a bachelor's degree, okay, you're pretty good. But if you want a serious job, you better go for that master's. That's... It's the pro it's a problem with America right now. Our, uh, it, it's an, it's been a problem for years. But it's only gotten worse over, like, recently. Because there are now so many, like, new different jobs. Or a lot of things are being simplified that, no, you don't need a college degree to do something. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. A lot of things are requiring more and more intelligent minds. And so because of that, you actually do need a college degree. I mean, my bad, my bad. It's the other way around. You do need a college degree, at the very least, to get the most decent of jobs. Unless you're going in the labor. 
labor forces. Anyway, that about does it for this episode of Human Echo and the Cry. Sorry to get all mellow at you at the end, but damn. Anyways, until then, guys, until then, I'll see you next time with Sakaturo. So until then, guys, until then, I'll see you then.